Okay, welcome to Book Frenzy. Tonight we're with Andrew Quo, and we're gonna chat about a couple books here. So, what do we got tonight? <laughs> we got Moneyball and the Big Book of Basketball by Bill Simmons. Cool. Which which one's the one you've been reading most recently? This one, uh, okay. the Big Book of Basketball. It's great. It's long. <laughs> he, he, he can't do anything short-winded. He has a column for ESPN. No, who, who's the writer? Uh, can you give me an idea of who? Bill, Bill Simmons? Simmons. He does a column on ESPN.com. Mm -hmm. um, he's kind of a prankster, Uber fan. Okay. Um, he's good at writing. He's funny. Uh, sometimes a little too punchline-y, but he's, he's great. Uh, I used to think his columns were too long online, and I wouldn't get through them. But right. After reading this book, it kind of like set a curve. So does this book give you kind of like an overview of like the history of the NBA or is it like kind of cur more current? It is leaves it like no stone unturned. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. <laughs> it's like, this player is bad. Here's five reasons why he's bad. Within those five reasons, I'll give you three examples of each reason to prove my point. And it just keeps on going on like a family tree. And it's like so thorough. He, he w wants to reconstruct the Basketball Hall of Fame, and that's like a good like 200 pages in here. He wants to create like a pyramid of players rather than a, a group of people in the same room. All right. And uh, he's, it's great because it just sounds like he's a fan, and I feel like I respond most to anything when people are excited about something. Right, right. There's like a total enthusiasm in the writing. Yeah, it bubbles over where it like hurts his writing at points, uh -huh. where he repeats himself, but it's uncontained. How long How long did it take you to get through the book, would you say? I am a terrible reader. <laughs> um, it took me like since maybe Christmas. Okay. <laughs> you know, I would read like maybe two pages in the morning and then a hundred pages on the plane. All right. You know, I am, don't let the glasses fool you. I am really bad <laughs> at reading. And I don't retain any of what I read a minute ago, so I, I always have to backtrack. Cool. And the, and, um, and the Michael Lewis book? This is such a great book. It is about um, baseball and this guy, Billy Bean, who works with at Oakland Athletics, and this guy, Bill James, who wrote this kind of uh, really interesting baseball book for insiders, like, once a year. Okay. And um, it basically, the theme of the book is, like, you're not seeing what you're seeing, which is always, like, a, a, a great narrative. Um, so basically, it discusses ways to... <laughs> <laughs> Spooky house. Yeah. Is he gonna idle? <laughs> it's getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Lewis book. The Michael Lewis book. I know I'm going to butcher this when I paraphrase it, but basically it's about the Oakland A's and the guy who runs the Oakland A's and his, the way he evaluates players and how at the time it was really revolutionary. Now a lot of teams do it like the Red Sox, but um, he basically took a little and made a lot with it, and it explains how he did it for so long, and um, it was just like a reevaluating of um, assets, basically, like, whereas people would pay for certain things, he decided to pay for other things, and maybe not so much, and they never won the World Series A's, but he had a, a good team, and people came out to see them, and when was this book written? Is this a... Uh... This was written maybe, I want to say like a decade ago. Okay. Um, bestseller. This guy writes really well. He writes, he, he wrote a cover story in the Times Magazine about Shane Battier that I loved. 2004, 2003. Okay. Um, really great. Um, fun to read. Sort of like a brief history of time. You know, he just mm -hmm. makes it really fun to That's read. That's cool. Do you have any uh, books that are like... Uh, 
on deck, so to speak, as far as like a new book you're picking up? I've been trying to read um, David Foster Wallace. Ah, uh, are you reading one of the novels or the yeah. short pieces? Or? The novel and Infinite Jest. Uh-huh. And it's just like, I can't <laughs> penetrate that thing. I'll read yeah. 100 pages and be like, I have to start over uh, yeah. and reread those 100 pages. And I just can't penetrate it. But I know it's going to be the best book I've ever read. I just can't get to that point, and it's really frustrating. It's frustrating when you hold like an object and you can hold the end of it. Yeah. And you can't get there. Right. And even if I love reading the last page of every book in the store. Yeah. But you know it changes so much. It's like a baseball game or a basketball game when someone's like, "Oh, only the last minute counts. You just have to watch the last minute." I'm like, but what about all the stories that happen up to that last minute? It changes the last minute. So you could watch a great shot go in, but the whole backstory is what makes that shot so great during the course of the game or the season or a mm. career. And that's how I feel about books sometimes. I'll read the last page and I'll be like, that was fine, it was great, but in order to really have it go somewhere, you got to get through so much time. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, told from a friend to ask you about the LeVon James trade. What do you think is going to happen? LeBron James coming to New York? Well, he has a... I don't think it's going to happen. You don't think it's going to happen? I think he's like... He talks about it a lot in here, about how fiercely loyal he is and how he fired his entire like managing staff and hired his friends from high school. Wow. And he's playing in his hometown, and he has everything. So you think he's going to end his career in Cleveland? I mean, I think it's like a 40-60. I'll be disappointed if he doesn't come to the Knicks, but I'm not expecting it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but it's, it's all there for him, which I won't be that upset because they still have enough money for this guy named Kevin Durant who comes mm-hmm. out next year who I'm equally as excited about. Cool. And um, as far as uh, can we ever expect a book from you? <laughs> I was... I've been thinking about it, yeah, for sure. I mean, not like, not like an art book, like a, a written book. Yeah. God, that is my dream. My father was a writer, and my mom was kind of dabbled in writing. Uh-huh. But that's what my dad did, and I felt like I was way too self-conscious to ever really get into it. But now that like I'm half dead, it's about time to try. <laughs> you know? uh, and I would love to. I, I feel like I like writing more than reading. No. All right, fair enough, man. Yeah. All right, well, thanks so much for talking. Thanks for having Appreciate me. Appreciate it. All right.